Now I can hear you breathing. <laughs> you took your blindfold off. I win. I was in Christine and Nancy's room. <laughs> Girls, it's way past your bedtime. So it looks like we have ourselves a good old-fashioned horror movie, which is interesting for two reasons. Uh, the first is because James Wan is the director here, and he's the one who, who changed the direction of the horror genre all those years ago with Saw. When he first came onto the scene, that's how he made his career. Uh, and he changed, he, he took things from more of the thriller aspect and even also like the more the teenage aspects of, uh, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street and Halloween and took it to this, to the goriest it's ever been with, with Saw. But now it looks like he's trying to see if he can, you know, continue to be a tastemaker in the horror genre and swing the pendulum back the other way. Uh, so that's the first reason this is interesting to see a director kind of uh, take the genre with him possibly. Uh, the other thing is, is that this has to be, it's mimicking 70s horror films for a reason, because this is based on a true story that took place in that time period. So it's smart of Juan to emulate The Shining and also Rosemary's Baby, uh, which are, of course, horror classics. So, so that's not only good for that reason, but a third reason, actually, is that I think this is going to maybe show that James Wan is growing as a filmmaker. Uh, we all know he's really good at uh, thinking of of understanding what horror audiences want uh, and, and and what the genre, where the genre needs to go. But I think if he wants his career to move forward and to maybe be able to move out of the horror genre, he's going to need to show that he understands filmmaking and, and artistry and, and those aspects. And I see elements of that here, even in this teaser trailer. I think it's by far and away his, mo his most beautiful film and his, it looks very rich. So I'm excited about that. But let's, let's going back a little bit, as I said, this is based on a true story. Uh, and that's why this is such a hot property. It's the, the Conjuring is based on Ed and Lorraine Warren, who are real life, who were real life paranormal in investigators back in the 70s. I and mean, this was, you know, the Amityville Horror. This is like, this, they are the ones who really made this news. So this is their story, but you would never know it based on this teaser trailer. So I think it's interesting they decided to go with this more old fashioned scare uh, then instead of playing up the hook of the film, the high concept angle of the film, and at the same time, you don't, you're not showing your actors who are playing Ed and Lorraine Warren. Uh, you know, Lily Taylor, very respected actress, but not really a box office draw. Patrick Wilson plays Ed Warren, and he was in Insidious with James Wan, so they've worked together before, and that was, film was successful. So you would want to maybe, I would think the studio would want to play that up. And also uh, Vera Farmiga, who's in the Bates Motel film, is also coming on board to play his wife, uh, L Lorraine Warren. So, so that's weird that I think they wouldn't 
play that up more in the trailer. Not only those actors, but that that true true story a, uh, aspect. The other thing is is that Ron Livingston is in this film, and you don't see him here either. And if you have an eagle eye, you will also notice that uh, Rose uh, Renesmee Cullen is in the film as well as one of the daughters coming in in the beginning. So I think that's interesting. You know, you would also want to shine a spotlight on that. But uh, I was at it's, this film though. The teaser looks good, and I have to say this is going to be a really hot film. Keep your eye on this. It's a slow burn. Uh, I guess like just like the film itself, it's gonna not it's not gonna be a, a big flashy scare. It's gonna just creep up on you. But I was at New York Comic Con. You can check out my interview with the cast uh, via the link here. But they said that the film tested so well. Ron Livingston told told me that the film tested so well that they're releasing it in July, uh, right in the middle of summer movie season, because Warner Brothers feels that strongly about it. So you have so. You have a very solid teaser trailer, and I'm telling you that you have a very solid cast, and of course you have James Wan, and I hope that in uh, the, the full trailer for this film, they, they play up all the cards they're holding, or at least more of them. I know a lot of you say you don't like to see everything in the trailer, but I think you can show a little bit more than this. You should, I think they should really show this is not just your, this is not just your average horror film. This, this has, this could really go down and be a classic and maybe eventually stand on the same level as The Shining, uh, Rosemary's Baby, and also more recent films, The Others with Nicole Kidman, which was a fantastic film, also did extremely well at the box office. And, uh, you know, also um, J.A. Bayona's The Orphanage, the Spanish language film did better overseas than here but of course it was because it was in a foreign language but that's the other thing real quick before I go with the if you make the film not too gory you have a better chance at a crossover audience because people like me who don't like all the blood and guts will go and see it because everybody likes a good scare so what do you think of the conjuring uh, teaser trailer is it enough for you are you teased are you sufficiently teased or would you have liked to see a little bit more of the true story aspect uh, and also maybe get a shot of Ron Livingston and uh, Patrick Wilson and Vera Famia as Ed and Lorraine Warren. Write your thoughts down below, and thanks for coming to be on the trailer, not just for the latest trailers, but these quick snapshot trailer reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.